We catch a lot of our fish in the heat of the day, midday, 11 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, using enormous flies, big, gaudy, yellow, white, any color you can imagine. And it's absolutely the opposite of fishing a size 20, you know, PMD nymph for, you know, pheasant tail or whatever you're fishing. My flies are not weighted. It's a, it's kind of a theory I came up with a long time ago about the relationship, the predatory prey relationship, and things don't die in front of the predator. A lot of these flies have things, have lift built into them so that they flutter and don't drop. Now I'm gonna tie in a little piece of uh, calf tail, and what this is, is it's a support for the flank feather I'm gonna put on in a second. You notice I, I don't worry about building up thread here. I'm gonna wrap a deer hair head. This is gel spun thread. And gel spun just is really, really slick. And it helps to put a little crazy glue on there, let it set. Probably the most critical part of this fly is getting a good flank feather. I'm gonna use two just because I can get a nice flat surface that way. But what you're looking for is a feather that's nice and straight. There's no real bend to the shaft. If you leave it so you can work with it, you can manipulate it and you can get it nice and tight. The critical thing that it's right dead over the shank. I'm gonna tie a collar on here that is what most people would consider obscenely large amount of hair to work with. So into the stacker. You stack it, pull your stacker out, make sure you got everything's nice and tight. One of the things that I do different than most hair guys is I don't use any part of the collar for the the head. I want the collar to be a third the length of the hook. I'm going to pick that point, I'm going to switch hands, I'm going to go around this hair, one, two and a half, I'm going to push that down and then I'm just going to cinch that down. I pushed my thumb into the hair, so I've got a nice broad collar now. I'm going to take a big piece of hair, now I'm going to take this, one, two and a half, straight down chase it. I've got a nice full hair. It's not moving. You're pulling your thread. You see how hard I'm pulling on that thread. It's not racing around the hook. One more. Another quick haircut for him. Come in on the side. One, two and a half. Pull in a single. Everything's flared out. I'm right at the eye. I've got two spins. I don't like these heads to be really tight. I'm going to take this razor blade. I'm going to make sure that everything's nice and fluffy. I'm going to flip it over and take a single pull and flatten that. I'm going to bend the razor blade to the shape that I want, which is about right there. Always supporting your hand against your vise so you're not wobbling around. And then I'm just going to come right into the head. I take the scissors and just cut back once, twice, and I don't, I don't like my deer hair heads to be packed tight. I like them to be real loose. It lets the air, the water, I mean, out of the fly very quickly. So when you're on your back cast, it lets the, the air out and the water out real quick so it's not real heavy. From the bottom side, you can see that if you did this right, the flank feather should end where the marabou ends. The tip of the marabou and the tip of the flank feather are the same. You see the belly, you see the pearl belly, which all sculpin have a real pearl belly. It could be a lot of flies. It could be a minnow, it could be a sculpin. I, you know, I suppose it could be a crayfish if you stretched it a ways, but uh, it's just a good general imitation. But that's the most, probably my most popular fly in the last 10 years. And it's just, a, it's a predatory thing. I think the first year we were here, we've been here five years now, uh, I sold about eight to ten dozen streamers uh, just wasn't no one fished them last year we sold close to 500 dozen streamers there's some really good anglers out there with some really new patterns it's kind of fun i mean you, i've got to adapt and you know steal a few myself from them